boys and girls, I'm going to read to you today the story of Corduroy. It's one of my favorite stories, and you may have read the book or even seen the movie. So this is Corduroy by Don Freeman. Don Freeman is the author and the illustrator of the book. That means he wrote the words and drew the pictures. Okay, so we see the front cover here of our book. We see the back cover of our book. We see the spine of our book that holds the pages together. And then we're back to the front where our title is. When I read, I read from the left to the right. So this is my title page and it says Corduroy Stories and Pictures by Don Freeman. Corduroy is a bear who once lived in the, the toy department of a big store. Day after day he waited with all the other animals and dolls for somebody to come along and take him home. Do you see him there? The store was always filled with shoppers buying all sorts of things, but no one ever seemed to want a small bear in green overalls. Can you find him? Then one morning, a little girl stopped and looked straight into Corduroy's bright eyes. Oh, mommy, she said. Look, there's the very bear I've always wanted. Not today, dear, her mother sighed. <sighs> I've spent too much money already. Besides, he doesn't look new. He's lost a button to one of his shoulder straps. Corduroy watched them sadly as they walked away. I didn't know I'd lost a button, he said to himself. Tonight, I'll go and see if I can find it. Late that evening, when all the shoppers had gone and all the doors were shut and locked, Corduroy climbed carefully down from his shelf and began searching everywhere on the floor for his lost button. Hmm, where will he find it? Suddenly, he felt the floor moving under him. <gasps> Quite by accident, he had stepped on the escalator and up he went. Could this be a mountain? He wondered. I think I've always wanted to climb a mountain. Is he climbing a mountain? Silly corduroy. He stepped off the escalator as it reached the next floor. And there, before his eyes, was the most amazing sight. What does he see? Tables and chairs and lamps and sofas and rows and rows of beds. <gasps> this must be a palace, Corduroy gasped. I guess I've always wanted to live in a palace. He wandered around admiring the furniture. This must be a bed. He said, I've always wanted to sleep in a bed. And up he crawled into a large, thick mattress. All at once, he saw something small and round. What do you think it is? Why, here's my button, he cried. And he tried to pick it up. But like all the other buttons on the mattress, it was tied down tight. Uh -huh. Pulling so hard. He yanked and pulled with both paws until pop! Off came the button and off the mattress 
corduroy toppled bang into a tall floor lamp over it fell with a crash poor corduroy he fell down corduroy didn't know it but there was someone else awake in the store oh no who is it the night watchman was going his rounds on the floor above. When he heard the crash, he came dashing down the escalator. Hey, who's there? Now who in the world did that? He exclaimed. Somebody must be hiding around here. He doesn't seem so happy. He flashed his light under and over sofas and beds until he came to the biggest bed of all. And there he saw two fuzzy brown ears sticking up under the covers. Hello, he said. How did you get upstairs? The watchman tucked Corduroy under his arm and carried him down the escalator and set him on the shelf in the toy department with the other animals and dolls. Corduroy was just waking up when the first customers came in the store in the morning. And there, looking at him with a wide, warm smile, was the same little girl he'd seen only the day before. I'm Lisa, she said, and you're going to be my very own bear. Last night, I counted what I've saved in my piggy bank, and my mother said I could bring you home. Shall I put him in a box for you? The sales lady asked. Oh, no thank you, Lisa answered, and she carried Corduroy home in her arms. She ran all the way up four flights of stairs into her family's apartment and straight to her own room. Corduroy blinked. There was a chair and a chest of drawers and alongside a girl's size bed stood a little bed just the right size for him. The room was small, nothing like that enormous palace in the department store. This must be home, he said. I know I've always wanted a home. Oh, Corduroy has a home now. Lisa sat down with Corduroy on her lap and began to sew a button on his overalls. I like you the way you are she said, but you'll be more comfortable with your shoulder strap fastened. The, oh, is there one more page? One more page. You must be a friend, said Corduroy. I've always wanted a friend. Me too, said Lisa, and gave him a big hug. Oh, Corduroy and Lisa both found their friends. Very good, boys and girls. Did you enjoy that story? I hope you did. Now, boys and girls, just for fun, you might want to ask your families if they want to play a game of hide-and-go-seek with you, just like Corduroy had to hide from the watchmen. Sometimes it can be fun if we play hide-and-seek in our houses with our families but make sure to stay safe and have fun.